Oh, it's this one. Okay, this is a pretty iconic one. I think this is a this is the one that was reused in Galaxy 2. Cuz it looks pretty familiar. It looks like a proto galaxy stage, honestly. Yeah. Cuz the final the final world in Galaxy 2 like World S uh, um a lot of it was um a throwback kind of well uh kind of thing. Because you had like all the bosses from Galaxy 1 in the boss rush. You had this. And you had a couple of other areas from Galaxy 1. Oof, okay. Perspective on this section kind of scares me. I don't know how I did that. Uh, I think the ca the camera is better than 64, but it's still not the greatest sometimes. So the greatest considered the best for Rico Harbor's 100 coin shine. Uh, wait, what now? So three is considered. <laughs> Pardon me, I need to go get the door. Okay. Oh, that was awful. <laughs> I was right there. Okay. This one isn't honestly too bad. You just have to be a bit cautious. Also, the acapella version of the uh, Mario theme is uh, really good too. Gotta love that acapella. Alright. Alright, let's uh, not screw this up, please. There we go. Yeah, that wasn't too bad. That wasn't really that hard, to be honest. You just gotta, like, not jump into a pit at the last second. <laughs> now we gotta do the secret variant. Ooh. All right. Okay, this is a little bit awkward to get in here with hover, but it's, it's better to do that than f uh, get rocket for reasons I mentioned earlier. Okay, that wasn't actually too bad. So, is episode 3 for 100 coins? Yes. Okay. <laughs> Oops. Just full. Make use of the- make use of the manholes and the bloopers. Oh, okay. I guess we should just get that out of the way after this, because, uh, just get the... I, I, I meant to jump and do that. Yeah, just get 100 coins out of the way while we can. How do you feel about um, them uh, 
like having these platforming sections like separated from the main part of the level. Really? I mean, the kid hates them because they took away the cool gimmick. Hmm. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. It, you do miss flood. Galaxy, like you were playing Galaxy 2 with your whole time, and then there's levels where you can't even use the co star Luma. <laughs> yeah. Um, yeah, I use my brother as a crutch frequently. <laughs> oh crap. Or you. Yeah, or there's also other. There's also so, some people who uh, use the, the co star to troll the other player. That scared me for a second. <laughs> I remember it was um, I, it might have been Nintendo Power or something, uh, where one of my friends, uh, like brought it into school uh, a lot, a lot, and um, I remember reading this article that. Talked about how Galaxy 2 could might have an actual co-op mo uh, mode with Luigi, and um, that got me like so excited. Oh dang it! Oh. And uh, yeah, we it didn't happen, <laughs> and I clicked the wrong episode. We have never truly gotten. We have never gotten a real 64. <laughs> yeah. Cause I, cause I, I, I know that was a, that was supposed to be a thing. Uh, didn't they want? Didn't they try making it for the sixty four DD or something? Yes, that's forgotten. Add on. Yeah. Apparently the, apparently based on what I've read, which could all be lies, because this is the internet. The internet. Yeah. Like, split screen co op. <laughs> Hmm. Open, well, at least open by nine. Open by fifth generation standards. 3D Mario game. Yeah. Oh, Mario would control Luigi, and uh, apparently they could be in levels and in separate levels. Huh. Oh, that would be like crazy advanced for the time. I could be misremembering this, but that that would be something. That would be really interesting. I know uh, Luigi was meant to be a co-op partner in 64, like the first, the first 64. But I, I'm not even sure if Luigi was supposed to be in that game because he is like nowhere. Well, I, th I think originally they wanted him to, they wanted co-op in the first in uh, Mario 64, but they couldn't get him, get it to work at all or get it to work right. Uh, so Luigi just had to be scrapped entirely, and there's like no trace of him. Which is kind of unfortunate, like, you think... I don't think it would have been too, too... Like, if, if they already have, like, a Luigi model working, they probably could have just made Luigi un an unlockable character or something. Like, at the very least, really. The Millennium was not a good time for Luigi. Yeah. <laughs> Period of, like, 96 up through... <laughs> it wasn't really his best moments. Yeah. I think it was start like when did uh, Luigi start getting more focus? Would that be like New Super Mario Bros. DS? Because uh, he's playable there. I guess Luigi's Mansion would be the start. I guess so. Yeah. And then Mario and Luigi's Superstar Saga, which put Luigi in a like a major role for the first time in you know, for the first time in years. I really like the Mario, the Mario and Luigi games for that because uh, for they 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 um they f it's one of the few instances where they put Mario and Luigi on equal footing, if you will, and um, it's not is it isn't like like Mario's journey with Luigi sometimes just kind of there. They feel they feel like 
both of them are equally important to the to the quest, if you will. Which I appreciate. I, I think a, I think a two D platformer is better. They did a good job making them equals. That's true too. Yeah. Like so only when. Hmm. Started to become more, more exclusively single. There, the Luigi just kind of, just kind of got phased out. Yeah. Like, uh, starting with Mario Wii, I think they, uh, do a good job with that. Alright. This is, what is, uh, Oh, fairness, I, I, I complain about Mario 64 laughing Luigi, but... It's honestly... Huh? I complain about Mario 64 lacking Luigi, but it's kind of lacking a lot of characters, like... Yeah. And for no reason. Mm. stay that way for, like, another 15 years. Yeah. There's, um... It's surprising to think about, but Hammer Bros didn't actually appear in 3D Mario until Galaxy 2, I think? I know it's one of the Galaxy games, but when when you think about that, like, out loud, it's, like, really surprising. Because that's, like, one of it the... Is. Huh? It is, but, you know, I'm kind of glad, because I imagine dealing with that in 3D would be annoying. Yeah... So, I I guess it makes sense why the some of the last enemies in the in the um, Grand Master Galaxy or whatever it's called. I don't think they're as bad in 3D because you can walk all around them. But yeah, I don't even know where I'm going at this point. Yeah, I forgot you can swim underwater. Yeah. You can't really, uh, you can't really do that for very long though. Air goes down pretty fast. If you let it. What's your general opinion on like a? Uh, 3D Mario versus 2D Mario, like, what, what do you generally prefer playing? Uh, it really depends on my mood. That's fair, yeah, they're pretty different. 80%, around 80% of the time I'd pick 3D Mario, but some, uh, 2D Mario has a specific, uh, charm to it, and, uh, it's, I'd say it's overall easier to, uh, to, uh, pick up and play 2D Mario. Uh, what? Oh, come on. What would you say are, like, some of your favorites, then? Like, overall? For 2D Mario, Mario World, New Mario Wii, to as well. Even if it's easy. It's a cakewalk, but I love it. <laughs> um, I'm playing enough New Mario U to give a full, glowing or condemning recommendation. But I like my play with it. New Mario uh, U is probably my favorite new Super Mario Bros. game. It's Everyone's favorite. If they've their favorite. Yeah. I, a lot of people kind of skipped out on it though, which is a little bit unfortunate. Oh then. Thank goodness for Switch ports, am I right? Yeah. I don't understand why they they did change they changed something in the game to, to like uh, you know how in the Mario way uh, if you I think you for like the Wii remote you shake you shake the controller and you spin, um, and that that's like a. Oh my goodness, 
That's a thing they uh, kept since then. Like, I think in Mario U, you uh, pressed a specific button. Uh, but for whatever reason, they decided to make it for the for the Switch port. They made it so it's the it's the same button as the jump button, which uh, kind of I haven't played it myself. I played that version myself, but I've heard it makes things really confusing. And I think there's an option to disable that in the menu. I I would hope so. Because, uh... It sounds like one of those things where you... It's like... You just end up doing it by accident. And it just get, ends up getting you killed. Oh. We're out of material, folks. <laughs> <laughs> ah, dang it. We all have dead air for these missions. Hmm. Okay, that didn't look right. <laughs> okay, I need to, like, be careful about this. Doesn't... Uh, yeah, 100 coins... Uh, 100 coin shrines always just kind of suck. Didn't miss their absence in, ga in the Galaxy games? Yeah, uh, y the closest you have is the purple coin one uh, challenges, but... Uh, Those also suck. Yeah, well, I mean... Some are worse than others. I... The ones... The ones that are most most like hundred coins uh, is the are the ones that just put you in a big open area and you just have to find like almost like you have to find like basically exactly a hundred. Those ones aren't. Ri I I think those are the worst ones. I prefer those over the timed missions. That's fair. That's fair. Uh, I remember some of those giving me a lot of issues. I like a lot of the purple coin challenges in Galaxy 2, I remember I remember liking those ones. Just, uh, I, I, I'm mostly in agreement as like one with the Cosmic Mario's chasing you. Mm. The, the, that's, are you talking about the one in uh, Puzzle Plank? Uh, I, don't, I don't think it was Puzzle Plank, it's the one every... what is it? were involved. Hmm. Uh, I know it was Puzzle Plank, but uh, I think it was a later stage. Okay. Because I think, uh, I think there was one in Puzzle Plank, but, uh, I don't, I, it's been, like, well, not, uh, I don't even know how long. It's been, like, at least, half a decade since I played Galaxy 2. So I, I, there's a lot I don't remember. Like, I'm drawing a blank on a lot of purple coin missions. Never forget the mission with all those Cosmic Marios chasing me. Is that, is, are you talking, is that one where you have to uh, break open a, uh, a cage to star. I don't think so. Hmm, I'm not sure then. Cause I... I know there's... I know there's a... About the one where a bunch of Cosmic Marios chase you, uh, in Chomp Works, I think. Don't know if that's what you're thinking of. Lesson here is that Cosmic Marios suck. Yeah! I mean, right back in the nonsense of 3D land. They kind of toned it down quite a bit, though, because it's just one shadow 
or Cosmic Mario, whatever you want to call it. Yeah, it was like... Where did the shrine go? I wasn't paying attention. Oh, it's over there. It's kind of... I think it's kind of cool in a way, though, because after Shadow Mario, like, debuted in this game, like, they kind of made, like, variants of him in the late in every game of Well, not every game, but a lot of games after this. So like they thought the model was cool, so they didn't want to completely get rid of it, I guess. Because the Cosmic Mario in Galaxy 1 is... More or less exactly like Shadow Mario, just with some added uh, effects to make it, like, galaxy-themed and all that. 